Most people think you need to be a coder to make money with AI. But right now, non-technical freelancers are building simple automations with Zapier. No code, no uh, sophisticated engineering degree. We're talking about connecting tools that businesses already use. That's it. And here's the backstory. <laughs> businesses are desperate to cut costs and speed up operations. There are more than 2,000 automation jobs that are posted every month on Upwork alone. I mean, I've spent years inside the tech world watching how automation reshapes entire industries. And this time, the opportunity is no longer locked inside big IT teams. It is wide open for solopreneurs, for consultants, and even beginners. And the best part that almost nobody talks about is the fact that the real money is not in building random automations. It's in knowing which six workflows companies are lining up to pay for right now and how to package them so that you can stand out in a sea of freelancers. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Honestly, this first one is so critical because most businesses waste hours trying to manually follow up with leads and send newsletters and keep their pipeline warm. And because of that, they have literally been leaving money on the table. Cold leads slip through the cracks, customers don't hear from them, and sales die quietly. Okay, so here's how automation can make a huge difference here. I want you to imagine a new lead filling out a form on a website. Then Zapier instantly triggers a workflow. It sends the lead into the CRM, drops a notification into Slack for the sales team, passes the info to ChatGPT to draft a personalized welcome email, and then automatically sends that email from Gmail. And that can be done with no coding, no manual copy pasting. It's a very simple automation actually. And automation is not about saving the time. In marketing, it's about saving opportunities. And I believe this will always be in great demand because according to the research that we found, marketing is the most in-demand area for Zapier automations, for example. And on Upwork alone, thousands of jobs are posted for these workflows each month. And freelancers are charging anywhere from a couple hundred to thousands per setup with some packaging them into multiple thousands for um, ongoing optimization. Now, if you want to give this one a try, if you're a beginner, here are some examples of what you could look into implementing. One way would be to connect lead forms to Gmail or to MailChimp via Zapier so that businesses uh, never lose track of their prospects. Or another idea would be to automate newsletter workflows, for example, so every blog post triggers a new email campaign. If you're a bit more advanced, you can add AI personalization with ChatGPT to write custom responses or subject lines. Or you could build multi-step funnels and forms so then you can uh, take that to the next level. And then you can package all of this in a done-for-you marketing automation system. And if follow-ups and campaigns are bleeding money for businesses, wait until you see what this next idea can do for a business that could become your customer. So if you've been following along and you like what this marketing automation opportunity looks like, or you're new to marketing and you need help getting started, then I suggest you take a look at this free resource from HubSpot that is called the AI Marketing Automation Playbook. It's basically a step-by-step -step guide to scaling personalization, automating engagement, and driving revenue with AI. And this is without losing the human touch, which I think is really important. Inside, you're going to find the steps to a 30-minute workflow audit, which is a fast way to spot your clients' top three time wasters and then turn them into automated wins fast. You're also going to find engagement um, and revenue engines and how to layer sentiment aware replies, AI dashboards and retargeting and nurture workflows so that your funnel runs on autopilot and turns followers into customers for your client. My favorite part is honestly the workflow audit section because it basically shows you in a very simple way exactly what is eating your client's time up so that you know what to automate first. It's completely free and it'll make your AI feel less like a set of disconnected tools and more like an always on data informed revenue system. So hit the link below to grab the AI marketing automation playbook from HubSpot. And also big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and for making this resource available to us. Okay, so automation idea number two has to do with webinars because webinars convert, I know we've done them, but only if people actually show up. And the truth is that most businesses tend to drop the ball there. Somebody registers, they get one confirmation email, and then there's silence, you know? By the time the webinar goes live, half of the audience has forgotten, and then there's tons of no-shows and lots of cold leads and lots of wasted ad spend for the most part. So automations can help make a huge impact here because with Zapier, the moment somebody registers for a webinar, their information can be captured from, I don't know, Eventbrite or Zoom or any landing page that has been used. And then Zapier can drop them into a CRM and tag them as a webinar lead. And then ChatGPT can draft a personalized confirmation email in the brand's voice. 
and send the reminder sequence uh, scheduled for, I don't know, 24 hours before, one hour before, 10 minutes before, something like that. And then once the webinar ends, Zapier can automatically send them a replay link and then drop them into a nurture sequence with AI written follow-up emails that are designed to move them towards a sales call or a purchase or whatever the outcome of that campaign looks like. So that means that no manual list experts will happen and hopefully there will be a lot fewer missed reminders and no wasted registrations or ad spend <laughs> for that matter. And businesses pay because every percentage point in show up rate can mean tens of thousands of extra revenue for them. And I think if you want to get into this one, the easiest way would be to automate the reminders and post webinar replay emails. And if you're more advanced, you can add AI driven personalization or follow up messages that reference what the lead uh, actually clicked on or asked or how they engaged during the webinar and things like that. Because webinars, <laughs> at least in my opinion, do not fail because of bad presentations or unstructured presentations. They fail many times because nobody bothered to follow up. And if a single webinar funnel can be automated end to end, uh, let me show you what else can be automated with a similarly large impact on a business. So let's talk about automation number three. I want you to think about how most high ticket businesses book clients. Most of the time it doesn't start on a website. Usually it starts in DMs. Somebody messages them on Instagram or asks a question inside a school community. And the faster that the coach or the person replies, the more likely they are to book a sales call. But the problem is that manually replying takes hours. And by the time you get to it or the client gets to it, the lead's gone cold. <laughs> so. Here's how automation can help in this case, because with Zapier, every time somebody messages a coach on Instagram or in school, what can happen is that their message is captured and is passed into ChatGPT, and then ChatGPT can draft a reply in the exact brand voice of the coach. And if they're showing interest, then Zapier can automatically send the booking link, can nudge them to schedule a sales call, and then all of that conversation can be logged into a CRM so the leads can be tracked. And that means basically that DMs stop being a, a, a time drain and they become a 24-7 organic sales funnel. And what I really like is that Zapier can also log all of that, uh, the, the repeated questions into an Airtable or a Notion and then automatically create a knowledge base. And over time, the community literally builds its own FAQ library without you doing much, you know, lifting more than one finger. And according to research, the... DM and client communication automations are some of the most lucrative gigs right now. So on Upwork, for example, we saw that freelancers charge from $50 all the way to $1,000 for a setup. And consultants usually package it as a DM sales machine service, um, and they're able to pull in recurring retainers for optimization. So if you're looking to get into this, an idea would be to build a DM to calendar uh, type of workflow that captures warm leads. If you're a bit more advanced, you can blend AI into it so you can have, uh, you know, customized booking links or a personalized replies and things like that. The truth is that most sales aren't lost because people said no. They're lost because nobody replied fast enough when they said maybe. And if DMs are becoming automated sales funnels, the next big win is in what happens after the close, okay? Because one of the biggest choke points in small businesses is, believe it or not, not in getting the lead. It's in what happens after somebody said yes. Because a proposal gets emailed and then manually chased down for a signature and then somebody has to create the invoice and send the contract and finally onboard the client and becomes messy and slow and often takes days, which means lost momentum and lost deals. By the time somebody manually checks their info, the excitement is gone and the business has already lost trust. So you can step in and help them with Zapier automations because once a client accepts a proposal, I don't know, in something like Pandadoc or Proposify, let's say, the signed contract can be automatically saved in Google Drive. QuickBooks or Stripe can instantly generate and send an invoice. Uh, and then once the payment is confirmed, a personalized onboarding email can be drafted by ChatGPT and sent to the client. And then their account, their folders, their project tasks can be automatically created in Asana or Notion or ClickUp. And then the team can get notified in Slack all without your client doing anything. Okay, so research shows that onboarding is one of the top paid Zapier use cases because it's mission critical. And I know that businesses will happily pay for a smooth setup. And many consultants charge ongoing retainers to keep this optimized according to the automated. So what can you do? I mean, if you're a beginner, you can set up a simple sequence like auto sending welcome emails or creating client folders when a form is filled. If you're a bit more advanced, you can look into um, layering in AI to generate custom onboarding guides and FAQs or training emails that are tailored to each client. And that will lead to much, much better results for your own customer. Because here's the truth. In many cases that you don't think, 
Businesses don't lose clients because of their service. They lose them because of silence between sign-up and delivery. And if onboarding is where companies quietly bleed revenue, there is another opportunity that could be probably even more fun and lead to a nice business impact. And that has to do with running a podcast because it looks like fun until you realize how much time it takes to find, to pitch, and to manage guests. And many podcasters spend hours researching people and writing cold emails and chasing down bios and scheduling calls and then manually updating spreadsheets. I mean, trust me, it's exhausting. And for many, it's the reason they quit. I know that we've worked with podcasters in our agency. So what you can do with Zapier is create um, something that in the moment when a new guest name is added into, I don't know, Google Sheet, for example, Zapier can pull that into a CRM. ChatGPT can draft a personalized outreach email based on their bio. You can even layer in personalized research with perplexity or something like that, and then be able to write a really personal email to them. You can then use Gmail or HubSpot to send it automatically. And if they accept, Zapier can create the calendar event generate a prep document in Google Docs, store their headshot in your drive. And after the recording happens, uh, it can even trigger a thank you email and request a cross promotion maybe, or share some uh, repurposing materials. And that is basically an end-to-end -end guest management system where there is no follow-up uh, or manual follow-up required. Now, according to our research, outreach and scheduling automations are consistently in demand. More than 5 million podcasters worldwide, the market is massive. So what you can do if you're getting started is to learn to automate the outreach email sequence and the calendar scheduling. And if you're a bit more advanced, you can obviously layer AI into it to generate personalized pitches or prep sheets or even suggested interview questions that are tailored to each guest. There's a lot of opportunity and a lot of ideas here. But the truth is that most podcasters don't fail because of bad content. They fail because the back end is chaos and they cannot get everything organized. And if guest outreach can be automated end to end, Imagine what happens when you apply the same logic to member management and even cancellation automation. So this has to do with running memberships because running a membership or a subscription business is amazing until the cancellations and the refund requests start piling up. Every cancellation means manual emails and updating billing systems and removing access in, I don't know, school or circle and then sending awkward goodbye messages. And most creators and coaches hate it so much that they just let accounts linger, which creates bidding errors and support headaches and bad blood with ex-members. So there are actually many ways of automating this with Zapier because the moment that a customer cancels or requests a refund, then you can have Stripe or PayPal triggering the event and then Zapier can process the refund automatically and update their access in school or circle or discord and then send the personalized goodbye email. And you can do that drafting it with ChatGPT, for example, in the brand's voice and thank them and invite them for feedback. You can also uh, layer in logging the cancellation in, I don't know, a database like Airtable uh, reporting and you can notify a team member if that's necessary in Slack. And trust me, that would make churn automated, you know, like an automated flow, which is smooth for the customer Customer, it's clean for the business and there is no bad blood. And I think the best part is that you can sell it as a retention and churn management system to a lot of people managing communities. So if you're just getting started, you can look into automating the refund and the goodbye email sequence. Um, and if you're a bit more advanced, you can obviously layer in AI to analyze cancellation reasons um, from the exit survey or do that analysis in a way that helps the business learn and improve over time. Okay, so that brings us full circle from lead generation to sales, to onboarding, to customer care, to retention. And I think hopefully you've seen that Zapier and AI are able to create or become a business in a box, which is waiting for non-coders to claim it. So if you feel like this is an opportunity for you, make sure you go ahead and apply. And if you want to apply this with over 11,000 other people who are on the exact same path as you, make sure you come and join us in our free school community where we also have some of these automations. And make sure you take action and apply everything and don't wait or watch more videos because the success won't wait for you to watch everything you've saved for later. Success will happen when you take action, when you fail and you try again until you make it work. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like this video if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Share it with anyone in your circle of friends or family who are maybe concerned about the level of coding required to get started with AI and maybe this will give them a new perspective. Until next time, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here and I'll see you soon. Bye.